What's up, guys? So, today is Tuesday, um, the um, second day of week three. Um, and we worked yesterday, got a good bit done at the apartment complex. But as you can see, I'm at the house and my truck is not here. So, on the way home yesterday from the apartment complex, uh, <clears throat> my truck broke down on the side of the road. And, um, I thought it was a tire that blew out at first is what it sounded like but uh pulled over and got to inspecting stuff and turned out one of my spark plugs blew out of the hole um and this is a pretty common issue on fords apparently so i uh, couldn't really try to put it back in and it would not stay there's no threads on the block anymore so but uh i got a went last night and got a kit to fix it so going to miss work today trying to get the truck fixed and get it back home uh if, if i if i do get it fixed i will probably go to the apartment complex to try to get something done because i'm literally five the truck's five minutes away from the apartment complex like we had just left and you know i, I live a good 45 minutes away from that place so might as well since i'm already there get, try to get something done so hopefully fingers crossed that i can get this uh kit put in and it will stay and fix my issue and hopefully it will stay like that for a very long time but uh we will see so that's one of the things you just got to deal with as a business owner and just in life in general you know stuff's gonna break uh i can't complain i've had the truck for 14 months um I haven't had no issues with it knock on wood i put um two tires on it and i've changed the oil um that's all i've done to it uh, i've added some fire steering fluid maybe um but other than that that's all i've done to it and so and you know i can't complain about that i'm not a ford fan i'm a chevy guy um i got a silverado and then i got a camaro that you can't see but um <clears throat> uh let's this is something that's going to happen so that's one of the downsides to having a skid um set up for pressure washing um truck breaks down your your sol um for the time being so you know i mean worst case like if i wreck the truck uh you know i could um and i had another truck like my other one i could swap everything over in a weekend um basically um to a different truck but on something like this where you know i'm still going to use that truck i just can't use it today because it's not working so i can't work because all my stuff is mounted on that truck um that's the only downside of having a skid but my opinion is way better having a skid than a trailer um i i will have a trailer one day i think but it will be more geared towards commercial use and, and i won't use it on a daily basis like i do my truck um i wanted to have my truck set up where i can pretty much use it anywhere take it anywhere um i've i've raced cars for several years um i don't anymore but for several years i did and pulling trailers uh every weekend uh you know i guess i know some of these places you gotta go to i can only some of these places i gotta go to pressure washing i can only imagine having to pull a trailer into there uh especially um i live close to uh a big lake and river whatever you want to call it and there's i have a lot of work there because those houses are really expensive and um those people pay a lot of money to get their stuff looking nice so uh i have a lot of jobs on the water and getting to some of them places is very very sketchy already in a just a truck um so pulling i can't imagine pulling a trailer behind me going to some of those places and just like maneuvering around this apartment complex i can't imagine having to maneuver a trailer around this apartment complex and whatnot so uh there's downsides and upsides to trucks skid versus a uh, trailer build but 
you know, it is what it is. So <clears throat> we're going to try to uh, get it fixed up this morning and hopefully we can get back to washing. So um, getting over halfway done with this job now. So um, that's good. Had a good meeting with the manager Friday afternoon after I finished up for the day. Um, she's very happy with the work so far. She's very happy with me. Um, haven't had no complaints, which is good. Uh, I've been there for over two weeks now, so I haven't had any complaints. Um, I have, I've, I've had a lot of compliments to me from residents. Um, so that's good, you know, but, uh, hopefully we'll get it back at it. So we'll see y'all later. What's up guys? So it is Tuesday around, uh, 12 and we've got the truck up and running this morning um <clears throat> i got a ride to the truck and last night i got the r repair kit i needed and i was able to get it in and it is working so far so fingers crossed that it keeps working um just got to the apartment complex uh by myself today because uh told my helper not to come because i didn't know if i was gonna get the truck fixed or not but I mean, I was literally three minutes away from the apartment complex. So instead of going home and relaxing all day, I decided to come here and see what I can get done. Uh, Cause there's a lot of outside washing that I can do by myself that I don't need a helper for. Um, it's nice having one for pulling hoses and, and everything like that. But uh, I can get most of all that done by myself and save the breezeways for um, when my helper comes back tomorrow so i'm about to get busy though and uh we'll see what, what we can get done so but i mean little things like that you know put you a half a day behind thankfully it was nothing too major something that i was easily able to fix and only miss basically four hours of work to it uh the customers you know very understanding you know they have the same goal as I do is, and that's to get the buildings clean you know whether it takes one week or eight weeks you know they're paying the same price so um, and more importantly whether the buildings get clean or not is the main thing so uh, there ain't no point in rushing yourself um, trying to meet a deadline or something. Um, I don't have a deadline for when I'm supposed to be done with this. Um, I have a schedule and a deadline for myself, but the customer did not give me one. You know, so uh, if it takes me the um, the amount of time, I think it was it was 17 uh, working days, um, then I'm happy with that. You know, if it takes me 20 working days, then that's three more days that I'm I'm spending money to get this job done, um, and that's the way I look at it. So, but anyways, about to get started here, and uh, we'll see y'all. I probably won't get much footage today, but I'll try to get some this week. What's up, guys? Um, right here on the backside, uh, I already got three stories done, and at the bottom floor here. So, check out this balcony fence, whatever you want to call it. Some of them are bad, some of them are not too bad, like that one. Um, it's right at the bottom ones. There's a couple of them, two or three per building that are bad. But got a pump up sprayer with some 50-50 in it, half bleach, half um, water. This is actually half pool chlorine, half water, it's just because I was lazy. I bought uh, two gallons of full chlorine at Walmart the other day. Uh, but um, save yourself the trouble of spraying this with um, downstreaming mix five times basically and spray this on there. And then you can rinse it one time and then um, spray your house wash mix on it and it should be good to go um, I've had great luck with these this week um, they're coming out pretty good 
some of them have some good bit of like brownish staining to them afterwards but that's just i mean can't fix everything you know but uh i'm trying to make the spray a little bit better there we go that's better i like that better than the light little spray yeah just soak this on there let it sit come back to it and it'll be good you can already see those are pretty good um, but it works pretty quick look how that's turning already but it's not bad I just spray it on there a little bit, let it sit, and then it'll be good to go. Um, like that right there, see the bottom of the window? House wash mix will get that. House wash mix will clean that one up. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So, spray that on there, and then uh, I'll rinse it in a second, and then I will as I'm doing the inside of here, I'll come out here and I'll uh, bleach it. And then I'll rinse it off and it'll be good to go. Um, so like, that's kind of like some of the, not the rust, but that it's kind of hard to see uh, right here. So this is something I cleaned yesterday, um, but you can just see it's not dirty. It's just stained. Um, I mean, a lot of stuff out here is in bad condition and needs to be painted and whatnot but um, sometimes you have that weird staining behind the uh, mold algae whatever you want to call it that you get off but uh yeah just keep your uh, pump up sprayer um in the truck with some 50 50 in it for these kind of jobs you can use a um a handheld little sprayer but I mean, that that kills your hands after sitting there doing that for, you know, three or four minutes. Especially when you got, I don't even know how many balconies on the building, but uh, most of these up here are normally fine. Some of them are a little bad and I just have to spray house wash mix on it several times. Um, I do have a 12 volt pump, but I'm not pulling the hose back here and all that just for that. I'm just gonna spray it a few times and it'll be done with. But uh. That's it guys, so we'll see y'all later. What's up guys, so today's Friday, last day of the week. I was gonna show you real quick. On the water spigots out here, you know, most commercial places take off the handles up here. So you gotta get your little four-way key. Um, one of these will fit it. Um, you don't need that necessarily. I mean, if you got pliers or uh, wrench or anything, you, you can turn it, but um, these things are pretty cheap. Um, I haven't used it much, but I use it every single day out here. And then also, this place takes off these pieces, so you cannot connect your garden hose to it. So that's the extra thing that they do to prevent the residents from using water. So you gotta have one of these. It is a half inch and to a five eighths male male. Um, the threading is different. I don't know what the threading is but um i just barely put it on just like that just enough to bite it and it, it's gonna leak a little bit probably but it'd be all right and then you put your water hose on and be very very careful with these look how that thing's moving it's not screwed down um it's metal right here but inside the wall it's plastic pipe i broke it the first day i was here and flooded the apartment so i just hand tight that's it um because i mean that thing is sketch sketch um and then just do this on there find the right one too big too small there it is turn it on uh, this one don't leak too bad most time they leak horrible out of here and you can spin it all the way and take it out so now we got water uh, i don't have them hose connected because it's all the way down there but <clears throat> Pinch it and then you see my green hose in there. So 
that's it all right guys i'm gonna show you all my setup out here so every place is gonna be different but at this place there's water connections on both sides of the building on most of them that one didn't have one so we just had to connect to this one i haven't even checked that building yet to see but sometimes it's kind of sketchy you gotta run water down there all the way to the truck um you got 150 feet on right now uh yesterday i had 200 feet because we was doing that side of the building and part on down there normally when we're on that side of the building we connect to the, the water on that side but did not have a hose picket there and sometimes it has hose pickets and sometimes it's not on so uh, <clears throat> but first thing i always do is get water going because uh, i can't get very far with that water make sure it's on it's on um and then that's it uh now i'm going to put gas in the machine take my cap off of my bleach tank put my hose in there uh turn on my uh remote setup um and then pull my hose we got to do that sidewalk today this sidewalk and this side of the building <clears throat> uh breezeways and all the building you can see all the green on it um i'm probably going to go ahead and do that side of that building when i'm doing this side of this building since they're right there together go ahead and do it it doesn't snow point in going pulling all your hose up there one time just do one side of the building go ahead and knock both of them out at the same time um that is monday's building but doing that side is not going to affect anything doesn't matter uh but um i'm probably going to do a little bit more on that building it just depends on how my day goes here so um uh, also clean these off this one's not that bad but you can see it a little bit some are horrible um but i just hit it with a spray bottle and wipe it with a sponge uh, just a little extra thing i like to do but uh like i said it's going good um big jobs like this i'm no expert this is my first big job but i've been here for three weeks now so i feel like i've gained a good bit of experience if you're doing a big job like this mainly apartment complexes you need at least 200 feet of garden hose um at the minimum uh, you don't have to use it all you just need to have it i have i normally have 100 feet on my reel and 50 feet extra uh, that wasn't enough so i bought that little cheap walmart 15 dollar green hose right there that's my fourth um 50 foot section as a backup uh, but it was already connected so i didn't swap it this morning so uh, i don't need this one this morning so i'm just gonna leave it laying right here um but you need at least 200 feet of garden hose i would put 250 on the truck just because every every apartment complex is going to be different um and then your hose you need at least 200 feet of pressure hose and like again i would have an extra 50 foot just in case um i normally rock 150 feet um that's what my gray hose is uh i had a 50 foot section of backup hose it was like maybe like a 35 to 40 feet section it had um busted one time and been uh shortened and repaired it busted on me the third day i was here i think so i had this blue the box door crappy hose in my garage so now i'm rocking it as my uh fourth section of hose um to make it 200 feet 200 feet is the minimum that i need out here that is enough for me to go from here to there the side go uh, with this building i go up that floor all the way to the back and then i can go out and hit both ways so 200 feet is enough for me to do a half a building um 
at one time and like yesterday you know we was parked over there where that black car is right there by the stairs and we was i was able to reach all the way around the side of the building and all the way to here because i done this balcony yesterday so um but um 200 feet of hose at least uh make sure you got a gas can because normally most days i don't go through more than a tank of gas on most jobs but this one i go through at least three or four gallons a day pump up sprayer with degreaser um a pump up sprayer with 50 50 mix half bleach half water for your heavy spots on your uh balconies you can't see them but uh, on this the wood does not clean as good as vinyl like you see that hard hard green right there on the vinyl one percent downstreaming will get that off no problem but if you have that hard green on the wood, which is where the fences are right there, the balconies, it doesn't come off as easy. You can get it off spraying it three or four times, but just get some 50-50, go over and spray it. And then by the time you get to it, um, it's pretty much good. Um, and then a little like toilet scrub brush um, is always good to have to help for the heavy, heavy spots need a squeegee for the breezeways need a deck brush for the what i call the trash spots the nasty spots in the floor where people leave their trash sitting um hit that with degreaser scrub it and it comes up nice makes the floor look a lot nicer uh, also need a ball valve uh my handle broke a long time ago uh, too cheap to buy a new one so i use this little guy. I just have my pocket, pull out my pocket, you know, put it back in my pocket. Um, but one day I'll buy a new one. What? That's it, guys. Oh, also get you one of them brushes with the extension pole. Uh, this one I think is either 25 or 30 feet that it extends out to. Um, that way, on these balconies here, if there's heavy green where you can't reach with a spray bottle, spray it on the brush and brush it real quick um you're not really trying to brush it off you're trying to put the stuff on it and by the time you get to it it comes off pretty easy with uh downstream so but anyways i'm about to get busy guys uh I'm by myself today because today was not a scheduled work day for us i was supposed to be off today to go on a field trip with my little girl but it got canceled due to rain so um wind up just taking her to school making a regular school day and took my little boy to daycare and decided to come out here had to go get bleached this morning and uh it's probably about 9 30 it's 10 o'clock so it's 10 o'clock now um so i don't have a helper with me because today was not a planned work day um i did tell the property manager yesterday that I may or may not be here today. It just depends on if the field trip gets canceled. But I told her, uh, I'll let her know if I do come. So I texted her this morning when I got here and said, hey, field trip got canceled. I'm here working just FYI. Um, because I feel like they might reschedule it to one day next week. So it might be a day next week that I have to miss to do that. But anyways, about to get started here. Um, I try to get some footage. Uh, I'm not going to try to go too hard today um i'm gonna try to make it nice easy day get this end of the building knocked out the sidewalks and then um a little bit of that building give us early start on monday so that we can stay on track next week hopefully because next week's our last week and uh, i'm going out of town next friday um so i would love to have this job done by then um that'd be awesome so but we'll see y'all later